Day number three, championship Saturday of the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops National Championship. I'm bad, I'm bad as back. It's go time, baby. Top of the morning to you, laddie. We're at the St. Lawrence River. <laughs> I thought we were at a gas station. <laughs> uh, we're at the St. Lawrence River. Uh, first day of practice for the national championship. We're going to go see if we can catch some fish. Logan, what do you think? I'm excited, man. You don't ever know what you're going to hook into out here. That's but all the rest of the flatworms. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's the supply of power bait that you have not told anybody about. <laughs> I found some power bait at the uh, this tackle store by Champlain and I bought $200 worth. Gonna need some bigger ones than that on the St. Lawrence River, boys. <laughs> Trying to find this small jaws. We're about to, I'm gonna keep going, drifting over this red thing up here. We're drifting around looking with the aqua view to see if we can see any fish in these, in these uh, little high spots and stuff. Burning that oil. I'm scared. <laughs> We're making a move. Let's make a move. Decent there, maybe. It's a giant walleye. Really? Oh my god, look at it. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, that's a huge one. <laughs> Dude, get the net. This is like a trophy. <laughs> there you go, sir. <laughs> oh, jeez. Something is massive. An eight pounder. <laughs> He's an 807. <laughs> There's one right there. It's a big one. <laughs> kind of just drifting these, these, oh boy. I'm kind of just drifting these shoals. Uh, we're trying to find the ones that have the most current on them because the ones that don't have as much current, they seem to not have as active fish.
I don't know, still trying to put things together. I don't know which shoals are good, what depth range to be targeting fish in. We've caught some in close to 50 and we've caught some up against the bank, so. This place has been super pressured. We're kind of just trying to get a clue and we figured out a pretty good pattern yesterday afternoon. But yeah, it hasn't been, hasn't been incredible. Dude, the largemouth fishing is insane. Yeah, it's cra It's really, really good here. It's just never gonna win you a tournament. That's, that's... But it's, it's the national championship, so like, you can definitely, you definitely have a good chance at catching 20 of largemouth. Like, it's not that crazy. In terms of size, it's pretty much like Saginaw. Well, current fish. Today was a bit tough. Um, started off slow, we could only catch fish under a pound. So <laughs> it was tough for the first. Then I guess this afternoon we kind of started picking up for us a bit. Sort of thought we got on a pattern, then it died down, and then picked up on it a bit later this afternoon. But it's still not great. I mean, not on the winning fish, but hopefully keyed on a bit of something that will get us, get us further there tomorrow. First day on camera. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? All right, give us a game plan. What are we gonna do today? Okay, we're gonna catch five pounds small now. What do you mean? What did the fish say when he hit a wall? <laughs> Damn. God, that's crazy. How a fish like that can pull so hard. We never really did throw any out on that saddle. I mean, yeah, we, I kind of think like out here, try this. That one's the main one? Yeah, first. Because that's where you, you when, yeah, as soon as you pulled up and dropped down, you caught one right up there. Yeah, that's a better one. Oh! That was a good one. That ain't a bad one. Good job. Starting to pick up right here. 
We gotta go to a different spot. Only little ones here. It's like a three pounder, but feels good. She's, yeah, she's a good one. Thing. That was a tough uh, day on the river. We caught a bunch of fish, but not very many big ones, but it's all good. That's smallmouth fish, you know. We figured out a little deal on how to get bit. We're gonna go running around tomorrow and hope two and threes turns in fours and fives. And uh, this river is known for doing that, you know. It's smallmouth; they're very nomadic. Any any stop to mark would be the right stop. So, you know, we're gonna go get all of our, uh, cross all our T's, dot all our I's, get everything ready to rock tomorrow. We're gonna have a fun day. I felt worse after a practice before. You know, smallmouth are nomadic, so we got a little pattern going. Gonna go fish some current tomorrow, but I uh, won't really know till we get out there. Gonna be interesting with the with the wind and. and how long of a run we're making, but I feel like uh, hopefully it'll pay off and uh, we can get on a little something something. All right, we are here at registration for the 2021 College National Championship at Clarkson University here at registration. What's up? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Are you getting Tucker? A white shirt. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Oh, I was getting some uh, sponsor gifts. It's always nice qualifying for national championship, getting cool stuff from all the sponsors that help make this happen. Welcome to Slob Fest. Welcome to St. Lawrence River. <laughs> I know. I need to get more. Good evening, everybody. How we doing? Nice and cool in upstate New York. I will say the locals probably are not happy with you guys because you brought a lot of that southern heat up. But we're happy to be here. On behalf of Bassmaster, congratulations to all of you guys for qualifying for the national championship of the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. Again, you know this. Without further ado, we have a video to play for you guys for our next award. Uh, bass fishing really means everything to me. Surrounded by a bunch of, you know, really good bass fishermen, it helped me get into it. And from now on, I've just been strictly focusing on bass fishing. For the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is Auburn University, Logan Parks and Tucker Smith. I think it's a big one. Big one? Yeah. No cold. That'll help the cause. Two and three quarter, 271. Good call. Good call coming back here. A lot of times you'll see one and throw it over there and it'll act like it's about to eat it and then it'll kind of swim back around and if you keep pulling it up in its face, most of the time they'll come back and eat it. What? Get the net. It's a giant. It's a large mouth, dude. <laughs> That's a giant large mouth. On the oh my gosh. What the heck? That was not what I was expecting. Look. <laughs> That's insane, dude. That's a ticket to the national championship right there, boys. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Let's see what they weigh. Yes, sir. That's how you do it. It's my biggest spot ever, dude. Not even at home on the Coosa River. Out here in Hartwell. 16-15 for this team, Logan and Tucker, and they're in fifth place. Five pounds, 13 ounces on that spotted bass. A spot, wow, nice job. Yeah, that was kind of first thing in the morning. I didn't really think it was that big, but when we got it in the boat, I was like, dude, that's pushing six pounds. It's my biggest spot ever, and to have it at a place like Hartwell, you wouldn't expect that, it's pretty crazy, man. Man, it feels really good to be back out on the water. You know, for a little while there, we didn't really know what was gonna happen, if we were gonna get to fish again or not. Um, but this is something that a lot of us are very passionate about, and we feel extremely lucky and blessed to be able to come back out here and fish. And we're very thankful that the university is willing to work with us to uh, create a solution that allowed that. It's a long 
Yeah. The 18 inches. fish for smallmouth most of the day and it seemed like no wind, high sun, no clouds. We had like a three or four hour lull where like we just could not buy a bite. And uh, we ended up going shallower and trying to find some largemouth and we ended up catching some fish and figuring something out. So I'm looking forward to uh, building on that throughout the week. And again, they had a good start yesterday with 12 pounds and three ounces. They're from Auburn, Logan Parks and Tucker Smith bringing five more of today. That's two limits in a row. Five fish that are gonna check in at a good day. 14 pounds even, gonna take you to 26.3. Having a good finish here. They may be unofficially your team of the year leaders after today. So we will find out, but there you go. 26.3 good enough for third place right now. Nice job, guys. small crawfish up here on Smith. Oh, oh, it's a good one, dude. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh big spot. Bag spot. It's like a four pounder. <laughs> Woo! That's a big spot, dude. Come here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old spot of that. It's a four pounder. Maybe oh, yeah. a four and a quarter. The morning bite's gonna be key, it seems like, so hopefully we can get some good bites in the morning and uh, capitalize on them in the tournaments. I think you pretty much hit the nail on the head. We got some good bites first thing, and after that it pretty much died off, so I think that a lot of people's morning bites are gonna be key, and we just gotta get those fish in the boat. Day number one of the Carhartt Bass Master Classic here at Series presented by Bass Pro Shops Tour Stop number four. Our final tour stop of the year, and then we will set our sights on the national championship. Got him. Yeah, baby. Let's go. That's a cool pound. Do what? Might want to throw in there. To the right of that. Pretty big of one. I don't know. That big? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he is. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. I just missed that one and I told Logan to throw over there and he just caught it. He literally trucked my swim jig and Logan threw his top water over there. It was like, <laughs> I've had two events where I think I was probably one bite away. And I kind of feel like that's how this one is too right now. Um, just need one big bite to seal the deal. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe, yeah. It's been a heck of a day. Um, been a really fun week out here. Done all we about all we can do. I mean, they're gonna have to catch them, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Team of the year leaders coming into today. They were sitting in fifth place from Auburn University. Logan Parks and Tucker Smith. This may but all do it for the team of the year. Looking for 19 5. 19 pounds, nine ounces, and Auburn is gonna move into the lead. Their leading team of the year. 40 pounds and nine ounces is their two-day total, and they are in the lead of this tournament. 
and it's been a fantastic season for this these two anglers four fish they're going to take it at 10 pounds and six ounces which means all of us going to be taking this one back leading team of the year coming into this week and there you go your saginaw bay champions tour stop number four the carhartt bassmaster college series presented by bass pro shops is auburn university logan parks and tucker smith your 2021 carhartt bassmaster college series presented by bass pro shops team of the year let's hear for them come on up guys logan parks and tucker smith Fantastic year, guys. We're going to give away a lot of stuff, but at first, the mic is all yours for now. It's been an awesome year, guys. I just wanted to say, Brandon, you got me a little emotional with that video, man. Good job. Um, thank you for all you've done for us this year. Um, thank you to my parents for coming here. Thank you to everybody for sticking up for us during the suspension. And glad we got that straightened out. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to Tucker for coming here and fishing with me this year. It's been, it's been great. Yeah, I'd like to thank the Lord and Savior first off uh, for giving us this opportunity, but it's been an amazing year, you know, coming in as a freshman, you don't think that uh, Team of the Year is really, and you know, you don't really think you can achieve Team of the Year first year, and it's kind of mind boggling to me, but Brandon, I didn't know you did that video, and that's, that's awesome, man, good job. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank my parents and everybody that, you know, uh, supports me and, uh, can't believe I'm standing here about to hold the trophy, but uh, thanks to everybody that made it possible. It is becoming one of the hardest trophies to win in fishing. Let's hear it again for your 2021 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. Team of the Year, Logan Parks and Tucker Smith. go. Day number one, the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. Presented by Bass Pro Shops National Championship. Today is day one of the National Championship at the Thousand Island St. Lawrence Seaway. Ready to go. It's go time, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> LFG, dude. <laughs> LFG. <laughs> Number one, baby! Three pounder. Hey, CJ. Yeah. Big safety guy. <laughs> <laughs> you won't catch me, Drow. No, I just think it looks cool. Okay. So. Give him, give him, give him, give him. Woo. That was a disaster, dude. Ooh, nice one. We'll do a drift down, down through here, and then we'll go. 
Not quite any big ones here. Don't get in the grass, don't get in the grass! That's the reason I came in here, a little bonus maybe. Could catch a big small mouth or a big large mouth. He might call, I don't know. You sure that's a small one? I don't know. They weigh the same. Hold with a little bit heavier. Large a little heavier. A little bit. Okay, so so far we've got a, we probably got a limit around 12, 13 pounds. Um, need to go get some four or five pound bites to try to get ourselves up a little bit. Um, mainly just fishing little sand depressions um, with scattered rock on it, just drifting around. Uh, catching them on a football jig and a uh, drop shot. Today, we scrambled and uh, control motors died after y'all left us. So we had to improvise. We tried just drifting down some crazy stuff. No takers. So, uh, end of the day, we went largemouth fishing and ended up culling twice. Five in there. 15 pounds and nine ounces. It's going to be a 39 place. Let's start. Add six. 39, 39 points, they can go off of that tomorrow. What did you do yesterday? They're pretty good at 19 2. Um, hopefully, we can do it again today. We got one area of the river that we really like, but we, you know, we just gotta, gotta figure out where they're at today. A little different day, no wind, hopefully. A little, a little sunnier, so hopefully, hopefully it's a good day. Going on. About the same as him. Hopefully we can just get five good bites and get them in the boat. One, let's hear it for Waddington as we get day number two rolling. We are officially underway. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship. Got it. Ooh, they want to get bigger than that. This is kind of a matter of running into a big one, though. Broken down, so I walk the line. I drown my wounds and I die. Just got to find one with a five pounder sitting on it. Okay. A little better one. A little better, but we'll need a lot bigger. Caught a green fish. There's a spot we'll probably go to in a little bit. We've caught some large mouth on it and small mouth. What do you weigh? Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. That one? Yeah, it's perch. <laughs> I knew it was perch. That's small mouth candy right there. Little so. bitty duckers. Another large mouth. Yeah. yeah. Another one. Close to a four pounder. Ah. Yeah, boy. Got it. Oh, man. 
field at those tour stops or wild card to get into this tournament. In addition to that, though, we have state qualifiers. So we'll take New York, where we are, for example. The New York Bass Nation can run a college state qualifier that qualifies one team from that from that state into this tournament, so it's much harder. They're not here, you know, they're either watching back on us. We, we can't do it without parents, uh, without them we can't do it. And I want to thank all the awesome sponsors that support the Auburn Bass Center. Without them, we couldn't be here either. Hey, we'll see you next year, Caleb. It's been a pleasure, sir. Good luck. It's a good day to be a spinning rod, bad day to be a small They find it. Famous huh? quote of the day. Feeling good, bro. Excited. Ready to go. 14 out of Alabama. It's Auburn University in eighth place. Sam Hangy and Sam Posley with 38-14. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Take your time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. They're down farther off. They're on the back side of this, of this drift. Hundo P. I had, I had one trying to eat mine. I don't know how big, but decent. Take time. Yeah. Yeah, he's not big. He ain't big, but... It's not a huge one, but... That helps, dude. That definitely helps. That's kind of out of pound, probably. Get the smallest one out. Is he a good one? I don't know how big he is. Got him? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Wait, you ready? Get him. Let's go, boys! Neither of them are gonna call, but I'm just gonna one my call. Yeah, yeah, just sitting around on like the back side of the pile, pointing into the wind. It just comes up and curves around up here, and it's surrounded by grass, so we're just kind of throwing it down the rock vein. Trying to pick off ones using it as a highway or just sitting on it. Yeah, I don't know anywhere else that would go. That... Take her slow, don't be nervous. Yeah, same spot again. They're on that back part. This is a big one. Take her slow. That's a tank. Well, we got here and it started off a little slow, scared us, thought that our next hole wasn't gonna have our fish. And caught a couple, like four small ones, went to our rock pile where we could usually catch one or two good ones off of, caught a pretty good one. Came back here when the sun got up and filled out basically our limit. Nothing great, all average, basically the same size. But you guys are about to take a look at 2C and JC and how they're catching them. Bye.
been amazing. We had about 12 pounds before we came here. About We did a couple of, dr of drifts up shallow, didn't get anything, and then we started moving out to 20 to 35 foot. Then we started drifting, and like first drift, we catch a five. Second drift, we catch a four. Then like three more drifts later, we catch a six. So it's just been amazing out here. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Keep it down. Connor. Keep it down. Yeah. We don't have a weight anything, so I, I still don't know if that's gonna help. Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. Keep it down. It's what we've been waiting for. That might be a call. Surreal. I don't think we really even realized we're fishing the national championship cut on, on Saturday. Like we feel like we're just fishing out here for fun. It's been a it's been a hard year for both of us, so I think if we if we do good today, like really good, that's gonna mean a lot. Um, Nervous, I'm glad I'm here, but I'm just glad that with all this effort, emotions, hard work, money, and this sport is finally coming off. Feels good. Ready to get this going. What's up, Waddington, New York? How we doing? It is gonna be awesome. We are here. Day number three, championship Saturday of the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops National Championship. Three day event, we started all the way back on Thursday with 125 of the top teams across the country. And we whittled that down to just the top 12 today to battle it out to see who's gonna take home these two trophies back to their school. We are five fish looking for 19 to 21 pounds and four ounces. And Auburn jumps into the lead with a three day total on 59 eights. All right, the second Auburn team, Team Sam, where are you guys? Let's go ahead and start bagging them up. In his eighth place, Sam Hangy and Sam Hosley bagging their fish up again out of Auburn University. Let's see what they have to show us. More. You need 20 pounds, 11 ounces to unseat your teammates. Five fish, 18 pounds and 13 ounces. Going to jump this team into second place. So Auburn survives the team. And Auburn, Connor Crosby, and James Cobbs have just punched their ticket to the classic bracket. First day, a great run, 57 even for Adam Puckett and Brandon Bingham. And let's get loud for them one time. They had a great week. One time for Murray State University. Four is what Adrian needs. If it's anything lighter, it's Bethel. If it's 17 four or larger, first time ever, Adrian will be taking home the national championship trophy. Looking for 17 four. 20 pounds and 6 ounces. And for the first time in collegiate history, Adrian College out of Michigan is going to stamp their name as national champions. As the lucky hat continues to produce this year for Auburn University. Whoa. Whoa. 